in 1 Timothy chapter 2, starting at verse 1, it said, I exalt therefore that first of all supplication, prayer, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. Father, we thank you and we give you praise for this hour. We give you praise for this day. We give you praise for this moment. For your word declared in all things that we are to give thanks. And we thank you right now. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy toward us. We thank you, God, and we bless your wonderful name. For you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we want to say thank you. We thank you for the ins and the outs. We thank you for the ups and the downs. We thank you for all things. And we give you praise. Now, Lord, as we've come together to pray, to touch and agree, and to believe you even for those in authority, we take time now even to pray. And even as we pray for our nation and pray for our world, we pray, God, that your glory and your power will be manifested now in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for those that lead us. We pray for those that are in charge. We pray for those, oh God, that move to make decisions in our world. We pray for our president. We pray that you would give him strength and touch right now. We pray, oh God, we pray for the First Lady of the United States. We pray for our Vice President. We pray for our Governors. We pray for our men. We pray for the Speaker of the House. We pray for the Justices. We pray, oh God, that you would touch them right now. Oh God, give strength, we pray. We pray, oh God, that as they lead the world and make decisions for our country, we pray, O oh God, that you would help them to surround themselves with godly counsel right now. In Jesus' name, we pray, O oh God. We pray for the Secretary of State. We pray, O oh God, for those moving. We pray, O oh God, that you would move right now. We know your throne. Your name is a strong tower. And the righteous run unto to it and there they'll say we pray right now that you would move here we pray right now that you would do it here now Lord we pray for our senators we pray for our representatives we pray God we thank you but even as we're praying you're moving even as we're praying you're touching now pray for our leaders everywhere not only our political leaders but we pray for our spiritual leaders we pray right now that you would touch and give strength we bind the devil in Jesus name he's a liar and we thank you for authority that you've given us over him we thank you and we give you praise we pray for our presiding bishop, we pray for our first assistant, presiding bishop, we pray for our second assistant, presiding bishop, we pray for the board of bishops, we pray for the general board, we pray for our general secretary, we pray for the trustee board, we pray for our international mother, we pray for our jurisdictional bishops, we pray for our state supervisors. We pray for our pastors, our administrative assistants. We pray for our elders, our ministers, the saints everywhere. We pray you touch right now. We thank you for victory. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for a breakthrough. We thank you that every chain is broken now. We we thank you that deliverance has come. We thank you that the victory is ours. Jesus, we believe you. 
Jesus, we trust you. It is, it is so. It is, it is done. And we bless you. We bless you. We thank you for victory. We thank you for deliverance. It is so in the name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. Demons have got to flee. Demons have got to tremble. 